What you're looking at is a book cover and illustrations that I've made with this product. And this is, in my opinion, the best product of 2015. Let's take a look at Uji's 21 inch monitor, the Uji 2150, a critical review. It's not often that I come across a product that is so well made and so technologically advanced that I can say that it's actually upscaled my work. But uh, for the past uh, six months or so, I have had the enviable privilege of working with this pen monitor. Uh, let me give you a little bit about my background. Um, I've been a fine artist for uh, more than 35 years. I'm at 50 right now. Uh, and I've been a digital artist for the past 15. Uh, so from illustration to colored pencils to acrylics and oils, I've used them all for private as well as professional work. And uh, I'm actually working right now on um, a six book project and uh, we're both doing the uh, cover illustrations as well as the illustrations for inside. Uh, but for the current and future artists, it's intricately important that you tie your art with technology. This is not only important for the fine artists, but for al also for anybody else who's interested in any of the arts from animation to filmmaking. Having a, uh, a pen monitor is invaluable. I can't tell you how much this has improved my work. And a pen monitor is one of those indispensable and useful um, products that will literally transform your work. Uh, I can't say enough good about it. Now, uh, in this industry of the pen tablet, pen monitors, the signature tablets and pen monitors is made by Wacom and uh, Wacom's technology is also licensed by companies like Samsung whose pen technology you'll find in their Note series, both in the uh, Note uh, 3, 4, and now 5, as well as their um, Note tablets. So uh, at the moment you have 10 and uh, the 12. I'm not sure if the 18 has a pen, but um, for the most part you have the Samsungs, uh, you have the uh, Yoga tablets, and I believe you have a Microsoft, um, they have uh, the license for uh, from Wacom as well. So any of the ones with a pen um, technology, uh, most likely it's from Wacom, and those are the best. Okay. Well, about three years ago, some smaller companies started to introduce competitive models at substantially lower prices than the Wacom, and the UG is one of them. And their products are amongst the best on the market. The UG2150 is their 21 and a half inch diagonal monitor. Now this is a high definition monitor that works both with um, Apple Macintosh as well as Windows. Um, and it's now actually updated so it works actually with Windows 10. The 2150 specs are as follows. Um, it's 1920 by 1080 lines of um, resolution which works out to roughly 16.7 uh, million colors that can be reproduced. Um, uh, it measures 21, 20 and a half inches by 12.75 by 3 inches when it's collapsed or if it's fully extended it's 20 and a half inches by 12.75 by 13 inches. It weighs 10 pounds. Now this is not a uh, monitor that you want to move off in. It is heavy. I'm surprised that it only weighs 10. I, it feels like it weighs about 15 but um, the scale says 10, so we'll go with that. Uh, the response time is 14 milliseconds. It's a little bit on the slow side, but um, considering everything price versus quality, uh, I'm not going to bitch about that. Uh, power consumption is 18.49 watts, uh, and you have a power source of 100 to 240, so most of the markets around the world you can have, uh, you can use a spend monitor. Um, it also has a DC for VGA, um, a D-sub, DVI input, as well as an HDMI input, and a USB 1.1. Uh, pressure sensitivity is 20.48, and at, uh, at this moment that's still the standard, the highest standard by which Wacom um, also produces their pen monitors. This one has a um, LPI of 500, um, 5080. Uh, as I mentioned, it's compatible with uh, Vista, 
um, some aspects of XP. I'm not sure if that's still accurate at this moment, as well as uh, 7 through 10. And I'm now using it on uh, the OS 10, which at this second you can see on the monitor. Now, this particular kit comes, now there's, I think, three others that Uji offers. One is with the um, artist sleeve. Now, I bought that separately. So you, if you see me working with that's not with this one, but now they have it. Some come with a screen protector, and uh, others come with a some other things here. So you have three different choices when you buy the package from OG. Uh, mine came with the pen monitor, a VGA cable, a USB cable, a HDMI cable, pen charging cable, and that I got two of those, which is great. Um, it has a digital stylus, two of those, a power adapter, a pen barrel. Now the pen barrel has extra nibs in the bottom of it. Um, a user manual and a CD with uh, Windows only software. I didn't bother with that. Um, I didn't need it. Now when you receive the package there's no big fan for it. It's just a plain box. Once you open it the first thing you'll notice is the weight of the monitor. And it's not some cheap lightweight knockoff. Uh, this is primarily a heavyweight glass display. On the front, uh, you have the 21.5 inch diagonal display that's essentially edge to edge. There's l just literally about an inch bezel around, and at the bottom, it's about an inch and a half, maybe inch and three quarters. But on this uh, one inch um, frame, you'll see the power buttons on the right hand side, uh, the name tags um, of auto um, up and down as well as the menu, which represents the bottom, um, the buttons that's directly underneath it. Uh, this is great because you can go right to it without having to um, fingle around and remember which one it is. It's very easy to access. Uh, on the back side, you have the air vent on the top, the adjustable monitor and stand below. And to adjust the monitor, all you have to do is engage the latch um, on the top and the bottom. Now, uh, a word about aesthetics for a second. I appreciate that Uji went and um, had professionals in mind when they designed this. It's a glass monitor with a black border and a charcoal gray trim. It looks elegant and you can go almost anywhere uh, and use it with almost any computer without it looking like an ice or some kind of um, freak show. Underneath the stand you have a small compartment that houses the plug inputs and there are just a few, um, no explanations necessary. Now, some may say that the plugs will get crushed underneath the stand because of the location. This is not necessarily true. Uh, when I plugged it in and unplugged it, the wires tend to gravitate toward the middle, and uh, thereby the stand is on top of it. But if you just move it outside of it and around, there's, there's really no big deal. Um, some people will complain about anything. Now, um, after plugging it in all the appropriate wires, I've had two systems that I'm using, the OS X and um, initially Windows 8.1, but I have 10 now and it's good. The busiest and easiest, best, I'm sorry, the best and easiest route for me was just to use the HDMI port, which connects directly into the computer's port, and uh, you have a USB cable that you're going to need to connect to the p computer via the hub. So you need both the USB connection as well as the HDMI to plug to a separate monitor. Um, the current kit also comes with two electromagnetic pens, not capacitative, so you'll need the pens that are supplied. Neither of the pens that, um, you know, none of the Wacom base pens like on the Samsung's um, notes or anything else will work with it. So you need an electromagnetic pen, which are the ones that comes with it. And I think if you have to replace it, it's about, I believe, 10 to $15 if you lose or damage any of the two pens that comes with it. Now, um, here are two reasons that I found a bit frustrating. Um, the pens have a small opening in the bottom, and this allows for charging cable um, to charge from the internal battery so that the batteries can write, uh, can write wirelessly. And um, once fully charged, each of these pens can literally uh, be used for about a month and a half, two months, without being recharged. And in the six months that I've had it, I've only recharged those pens twice, one each. So that's great. Um, as I mentioned, we have a client that we're doing uh, a book um, book and illustration, internal illustration. So um, at the moment, you'll see that I'm using both Illustrator as well as Photoshop with this particular monitor. And literally sizing and resizing 
and sketching out so um, and it's great if you have um, other sketch programs like uh, sketchbook pro which I love as well as um, there's a couple others that I can recommend that works great with this uh, one is mischief so if you have that um, artist program from England it's called mischief it's awesome um, who would I say this is good for well I think that if you're in the market to buy a Wacom and uh, Wacom's are very 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 pricey um, I think that this is a great alternative I think that there's nobody that couldn't benefit from I think there's nobody that couldn't benefit from yeah there is nobody that I think cannot benefit from this um, I think if you're doing um, you know high high level work uh, if you work in a motion pictures uh, something of that and you really really need the finest point with the uh, lowest um, response rate maybe a Wacom but the trade-off is very high um, at the moment these are the specs if you've got a UG2150 it's about $670 selling on Amazon um, the comparable Wacom which is their 22 HD is 1800 so you're looking at about um, twelve hundred dollars more um, for the same price you can only get a Wacom 13 inch HD uh, on the whole this is perfect 